Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to do a clean with me. I have done over 50 pages in the last month and I've cleaned this room, I don't know how many times, but this is the result of the last week and I need to clean it up so that I can, you know, get more creative. I've got stuff all over the place. I just wanted to alert you of a sale. Scrapathon 12 is going to go on for $15 for three days. And if you're a patron, go look on Patreon. I'll have a coupon code for you guys that you can get it for $10. And that is 35 pages because there's 31 for the month. And then we did four live. And this is just a few of them that we did. This is called leaf painting. This is mixed media. This is stained glass. This is using some tape. This is using uh, markers. And this is tape again, just showing two different variation. So many pages, so much fun. So again, the link is in the description box below. I'll have a few pictures of some close-ups of different pages that we did in the month of October. So now let's get to cleaning this mess. <laughs> so I find for me when I have big projects like that that are going on, the first probably 15 pages, 20 pages that I did, I was cleaning after every single page. Then life happens, right? I ended up hurting my back. So instead of being ahead of schedule, all of a sudden I was playing catch up all the time. So, um, and plus when I was going upstairs to work, once I was done, you know, when I finished the pages, my back was hurting so bad that there's no way that I could spend time cleaning, you know. Um, and it was just the stupidest thing that I did too. I was got out of the shower and I bent over to dry my legs and I felt this like electrical shock in my back and I was like, oh, that was weird. And then within five minutes, I could not move at all. Now, thankfully, the reason I was getting ready is because I was going for a massage. Uh, I mean, what's the best place to go if you hurt your back? A massage place, right? So, she worked my back for the hour and then said, oh, you are going to hurt for the next two days. But because you got a massage, it should speed up the process. It still took about a week before um, that I, you know, wasn't in complete pain when I would stand up for more than an hour. So this is the results of, I think I said a week, but I think it was like two weeks after I hurt my back and I just did not have did not have it in me to clean up. So now I'm feeling pretty good. So I finished the Scrapathon class and like I said at the beginning, it's on for $15 and it's normally $40. So that's over 40 videos that you're going to get 35 pages because 31 is one for every day of the week plus we did four YouTube lives which we did four pages and we did techniques for each one of those and then we got six prep videos now if you're one of my patreon members go over to patreon i gave a code there where you can get the class for ten dollars so that's 75 percent off and also i didn't know i don't know if you know this but you can try my patreon for free for seven days now how do i tackle something like this. I find that when you look at something like this, it's so overwhelming. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll put a 15 minute timer on and I'll just clean for 15 minutes or 10 minutes or five minutes. You know, if my back could only get five minutes in, I would do five minutes. Cause let me tell you, if I wouldn't have done that, it would have been even worse than this. And a lot of stuff that was on the floor is because I could not bend over and pick up the stuff from off the floor. And this took me probably an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. And I tried to do this stuff that was on the floor 
at different times because again bending over even at this time I think I did this last week or the week before but um, at this point bending over was still you know quite a task so I kind of tried to not do it all at once so I try to put light products with light products and then I can I only need to walk where it goes in one time. You know, I don't have to do that trek 50 times. And I got this little wooden shelf. My husband made that for me a few years ago and I ended up putting it on my desk and I love it because I can put a TV screen there and that's what I use for my lives. And then it's off my desk and it gives me room to put stuff underneath. Now, the problem with that is, of course, everything gets shoved there. When I finish a page, I just kind of shove everything there. So I do try to once in a while just go over and clean all that up. And that's what I'm doing right now. That is where I keep my, um, my trimmer. My photo trimmer, I keep it under there. I keep my art crayons there too. And I'm my new obsession, the 49 and Market washi stickers. I have six of them right now. So I keep them in their box and I keep them right on that shelf there. And then that way, when I make a page, I can totally just grab them and, you know, use them on my page. Now for on Patreon, it was... Project Life Card Month. So I had all my Project Life Card, you know, con containers out. So I put all of those away because all my pages were done. So I was done with that. And then with Scrapathon, I did so many pages that I used Distress Ink. So, you know, in, on the background or coloring or whatever I, I used it for. And at first, I was putting every ink away. And then after a while, like everything else, it got put on the wayside. So now I'm taking, it probably took me a good 10 minutes, and I put it away. And what I did for that was I printed the sheet from uh, Rangers for Tim Holtz products. And it's in the order of the colors. So I'm using that sheet to determine the order that I put my inks up on the wall and it does help because then when I'm looking for an ink the pinks are together the reds are together and if I can't find it I just take out that sheet and I can tell oh it's in between sponge sugar and this color so then it's easier to find I do have the oxides and the regular distress inks and I keep those separated and it's really easy to tell them apart because one is a gray and one is black so this was part one, many more to come. So here are some pages that we did during the Scrapathon. There's simple watercoloring, ink blending, bokeh, mixed media, uh, Four Seasons, and all the ones that I showed you at the beginning, and so much more. And that's it. If you're interested, the link will be in the description box below. From Just go to NicoleJones91.com and the class is on for $15. And also don't forget to check out my Patreon link also in the description box below. And a huge thank you to all my patrons. And the best way to help out my channel here is please share this video on your social media. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.